I'm Shana Nalgene, a full-stack engineer with Tomorrow.io, the world's leading weather intelligence and climate adaptation platform. Today, I'm going to show you a quick walkthrough of our weather API. Okay, let's dive in by signing up and retrieving your API key from app.tomorrow.io. You can do that by heading over to the sign up sheet on our site. I'm already signed up, so let's go ahead and log in. Hey, okay, once you're all set with signing up and logging in, you can head over to the API management page and here you'll be able to retrieve your API key. Um, you can copy it, you can view it. You can also set up webhooks on this platform as well as view your API usage activity. Now let's check out what you can do with our API using our various endpoints. We'll head over to the doc. Let's start with the weather forecast and real-time endpoint. This intuitive, easy to use endpoint enables you to predict tomorrow's weather today with the most up-to-date forecasts, which are backed by supercharged proprietary modeling capabilities, cutting edge AI and machine learning, and data from our upcoming constellation of satellites. Super cool. Next, we have the real-time endpoint. Getting real-time weather information is also super simple using this real-time weather endpoint, which provides current weather in a minute-by-minute -minute resolution. Using our timeline endpoint, you can also customize your weather experience by querying conditions based on parameters that matter to you most, from seven days in the past up to 15 days in the future for any time resolution and point on Earth. We also have this weather route endpoint. Beyond the general weather information, our routes endpoint offers routes specific information that empowers your drivers to navigate confidently on their route. Analyze weather for specific routes and drive with confidence. Our weather tiles endpoint allows you to visualize weather by integrating accurate weather layers on your map. Next, we have our historical weather endpoint. Curious about yesterday's rain? You can access past weather data and get insight for analysis using our weather recent history endpoint. Additionally, you can dive into the past with our historical archive, query specific weather conditions, and uncover patterns using our historical API endpoint. Lastly, in this historical weather section, we have our historical climate norms endpoint. This allows you to understand 20-year climate trends and patterns. Next, we'll take a look at our weather monitoring APIs. These APIs allow you to track locations and insights. The Locations API allows you to target and manage the locations you want to monitor and keep a watchful eye on your areas of interest. You can set these up using all of these different endpoints. The Insights API allows you to define insights in your own way or to use our industry-based template. You can see some of those templates here. Our Alert API allows you to set alerts and monitor events based on predefined locations and insights that you've set using the previous APIs. Our Events API allows you to query weather events by location. So so using this endpoint and given a location, you can query different events that have occurred. The Events Timeline API allows you to retrieve real-time weather insights for specific locations. The Severe Weather Event allows you to subscribe to severe weather alerts and never be caught off guard. And lastly, the Notifications API allows you to manage notifications and get alerts your way. Let's take a look at the weather data layers. With over 80 different data fields available, you can easily enhance your project with detailed insight from weather to air quality pollen, and even the fire index. Our API equips you with the tools to create engaging and responsive solutions. Whether you're building a simple weather app or a sophisticated climate analysis tool, these data layers are designed to meet your specific needs. We have many different categories, so check them out. Now a little bit about error handling. We've engineered our error handling to be as developer-friendly as possible. Whether it's user mistakes or the rare server hiccup, you'll get clear and informative responses. We use conventional HTTP response code with those starting with two for success, those starting with four for client errors, and five for server errors. You can read more about it on this page. Another thing to keep in mind is rate limiting. Depending on your plan, there's a limit on requests per second, per hour, and per day. And if you surpass your rate limit, you'll get the 429 error code. Additionally, we have a recipe section that contains code examples in popular languages like JavaScript and Python. And this should help you get started pretty quickly. Just check out the different examples to gain ideas on how you can use our API. Lastly, remember to check out our developer community, Postman Collection, SDKs, and tutorials, which are here to back you up as you explore and implement our API. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope the walkthrough was helpful. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. Have a wonderful day.